What's up, guys? Ghostboy here with another uh, reaction, I guess. Or, nah, I guess it is. And I'm gonna react to the the new and the third single by Trivium, "Amongst the Shadows and the Stones," the third single from their upcoming album, "What the Dead Men Say." Really looking forward to that. I wasn't really a fan of their uh, last uh, single they put out. Uh, was pretty big on uh, Catastrophist. Catastrophist. Yeah, I can't really. It's hard. Okay, this is Amongst the Shadows in the Stones. I'm hoping this is better than. I think. Uh, was it What the Dead Men Say that came out before this? The. Uh, the title track? Yeah, I think it was. And I wasn't too big on that. Uh, Catastrophist or Catastrophist? I can't. I don't know. We'll just say Catastrophist, okay? That was a great song. Really enjoyed it. Loved the melody. And yeah, let's see what this one has to offer. So, Amongst the Shadows and Stones by Trivium in 3, 2, 1, play. Oh. It appears Matt's uh, screaming voice is back. I don't remember if I heard any of that in the sentence. It's been a while since I listened to that, honestly. Yeah, it's That riff is hard. Matt's voice sounds incredible on this. Well, as usual, you know, his clean vocals are probably one of the best in metal. This isn't as melodic as I thought it was going to be. But, still kicks ass. Oh shit. What's coming? Oh wow. This part is epic as fuck. I don't know why. But, uh... Ooh. 
Oh shit, I think it went full Iron Maiden now. I like how, I love how I clear the double bases. That was much better than that fucking disappointment they put out like last week or the week before. That was the title track. And oh, I said it wrong. It was what the dead men say. I think I said what the dead men speak. I don't know. I'm kind of an idiot. You guys can tell already though. But however, that that was a really good song. But I feel like I probably just like it more because of the one I uh, heard the one before that and wasn't into it but uh that was a great song and it had a multitude multitude wait am I using that in the right context I don't know it had a big variety of uh influences like I heard like some Maiden influence some Mazzole Dying influence uh uh, his Matt's unclean vocals kind of sounded like uh, Ryan Clark from Demon Hunter in like the uh, extremist days, extremist whatever. And actually, I think Matt's uncleans are actually the best uh, they've ever been because they uh, they don't sound uh, as forced as what that's what I'm trying to think. Of. They don't they sound a lot less forced than they used to. And I think Matt's voice is finally back, too. You know, after he threw it out a few years ago. But, uh... I mean, I, I'm not... I wouldn't say this was better than Catastrophist. But... It was definitely a great song, and... I'm still looking forward to this album. That's it. Oh, uh, song came out yesterday. I don't know if I said that earlier, but, uh... Yeah, that was Amongst the Shadows and Stones by Trivium. And this was me... Let's sing to the song. Yeah. That's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Eat cake. There's nothing else to do in this fucking quarantine anyway. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, not a reaction video next, but those will come more. More of those will come. Whatever, I'm done.